gravity. It's pretty strong, right? If I take a bowling ball, throw it as hard as I can up in the air, it's not gonna fly off into space. Knowing my luck, it's gonna land on my foot and it's gonna hurt a lot. So it must be strong. Well, physicists know of four fundamental forces. We've got gravity, electromagnetism, and the weak and strong nuclear forces. Just to compare to the next strongest force, electromagnetism. Take a magnet. It's only got a small fraction of what's in there aligned to make a magnetic field. And yet the Earth, with every bit of mass, is pulling down on something like a paperclip. But everyone knows the magnet's gonna win hands down. So why is gravity so weak? This question is so big and so important, it has its own name. It's called the hierarchy problem. Well, one suggestion to a solution to this problem is that there are extra compactified dimensions that gravity leaks into. What does that even mean? Well, think of something as simple as a garden hose. You stretch it out, you get far away, it looks like a line. But everyone knows you get close enough to a garden hose and you can see that there's another way around it. There's an extra dimension. It's curled up there. Well, that's how we think that space might work. How would we ever see this though? So we look for something that shouldn't be there. We start off with a uniform gravitational field, which is something we kind of already live in. We're very used to this. Think about a teeter-totter. You've got two kids on it. They're about the same weight. They're about the same distance from the center. You can put them in any position you want, and as long as they're not pushing off the ground, they're gonna stay in place. Well, we do something very similar. Instead of the Earth, we have a very large, thin piece of material, uh, metal, and it gives a very uniform gravitational field. Now we bring in a small disc that's suspended by a very tiny fiber. This is basically a teeter-totter. But instead of moving the teeter-totter, we move the source mass, and we bring the two very close together. Now, as we move the large source plate, if Newton and Einstein are right, nothing should happen. As we move this mass, our teeter-totter won't see anything. But let's say there are little curled up dimensions that gravity is leaking into. If we get on that scale of that distance, suddenly gravity will become stronger and it'll be attracted. So as part of that mass gets a little closer to our teeter-totter, it'll pull it and they'll move together. So if we were to find this, not only would it solve this hierarchy problem, but also it might bring us closer to having a theory of everything, combining all of our four fundamental forces together.